There we go. There. Okay. Yay, we awesome. got it. <laughs> After like 10 minutes of fit. Sorry. Oh my oh. gosh. Oh, <laughs> shoot. I hate when I interrupt people. No, it's okay. Uh, Welcome to the second episode of Cord or Board. So today we're going to look at, are we doing uh, Chinese updates first or Lolita updates first? You know, I didn't have a chance to really think about that, but I mean, I think we, we, could, we should do Chinese Lolita updates first. Okay, Chinese Lolita updates. All right. First dress is... It is a dress from Dear Celine. Um, it's called Little Witch, and it is really adorable. Let me kind of bring up some of the photos. Oh, oh, it's so, I know it's called Little Witch, but it is absolutely angelic. Yeah, do the little, does it come with the angel wings or? Um, I don't know, but I've seen a lot of those wings go for decent money on like certain websites. So, I mean, maybe they just use it as a prop for the dress, but. Uh, I, I, I would totally wear the wings with them. Is the, the one in the black shoe, is that a sword that she has? A sword? That she's holding? Oh, no. I thought she was holding a sword. I'm blind. Oh. I'm not, I'm not wearing my glasses. <laughs> I was oh, like, Jasmine. that would be so cool though. Like Lolita with yeah. a sword. Oh, uh, <laughs> what would, what would we call it? Armor K. Armor K. Yeah, Armor K. Um, no, but it is a really cute, like, string of beads. I mean, I would wear it with the dress. It's really cute even in the black. I mean, I'm not really much of a completely, I, I won't wear full on black dresses just cause I love my pastels too much, but it's really Same. cute. It's really cute. I love the white. It's very fantasy, wedding-esque. It's very cute. Super angelic. What do you think of the cut? It's an OP it looks like, so. Hmm, I think it's, I think it's kind of cute. Yeah, it is. I, I like how it's, it... Go ahead. Oh, sorry. I was going to say, it's not like very cupcakey like I would like, but... Yeah, you could definitely... I mean, you can do kind of like a bell, but it if you try to put too much poof under it, it'll probably look very overstuffed. And yeah. I know a lot about over, overstuffed petties. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I kind of like how the sleeves end right at your elbow, right at your elbow line. Um, I really don't like short sleeve blouses just because I got some chonky arms so it just personal preference I suppose it's very cute though yeah and I like the the wrist cuffs it's oh, a nice touch yeah the wrist cuffs are really cute um I I, I would personally coordinate the white one probably yeah. not the black but the white it's very cute definitely cord white yeah cord is from Nya Nya and it's Pet, it's the pet series where you can dress your cats in Lolita-esque uh, clothing and it's... Oh my gosh. It's so, <laughs> look at this cat, he's so pretty. So, oh my gosh. for all you Lolitas out there with kitties like me and maybe you want your kitty to match you in Lolita or Olgi, they got you. <laughs> this, this brand has definitely got you. Oh my god. Like, it just comes with like this big bow and they're kind of like, the fabric's just kind of draped down their back. It's so adorable. And these pictures are all majestic. They are. This this cat looks like he's seen some stuff. His his eyes are wide. Just oh, like, I he's, just... he's, like, <laughs> he's like, mom, get me down from this tree right now. I want to go home. And I'm looking at Lulu like... Yep, she's looking at me now. She knows I'm getting ideas. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> she's looking at you. She's like, she's don't like she, she knows. She's like, don't you dare. <laughs> okay. Um, this one is called mung bean ice cream, which I've never had before. Have you? Mm -hmm. I've never, I've never had that. I don't know. It's but the dress, the 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 dress and the skirt is just called popcorn, and uh, <clears throat> it's really cute. Like honestly, it's very casual. Um, looks like it goes, the, the skirt goes up to a 90 centimeter waist and above a 100 centimeter bust. So it's going to be really nice for plus size Lolitas. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, is that an OP version? Uh, actually I think that's or, the JSK. I think they're just, oh yeah, yeah, they just have a blouse put underneath, but just kind of show you like what kind of blouse you could style it with. 
Okay. A, a lot of brands tend to do that nowadays. And it's always nice when it's like not a not white blouse because like it's kind of nice when you want to pair up a JSK but you don't want to use white blouse all the time. So I like that they do that. Yeah, and like the I feel like the beige or yeah, that, ivory? Yeah, I was going to say is that beige or ivory? I was about to say there's too many off whites. Um, but I think that goes really cute with like the print color and the popcorn. It's just really cute. Mm -hmm. I like, I love the kind of toned down, the more earthy colors. So, I mean, if you're just looking for a cute casual dress to like wear out, maybe go to the movies. I was gonna with. say, wear it to the movies. <laughs> popcorn K. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, it even comes with a popcorn bag. Aww. Oh no, I'm that's cute. I'm so sold on it, but the thing is, it doesn't come in pink. It does not come in pink. At least I'm not seeing it. It does come in red and orange. Uh, I think it's just more of a. I think the saturation's kind of high on it, but it's definitely red. Um, like come in navy. Oh, that's really cute. I mean. I don't know if I would personally court it, but I also I, wouldn't board it. What do we call that then? A neither cord nor board. Well, it's not going to be an oof or poof. <laughs> I, I'll poof it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Lulubelle. Lulubelle. Baby. Hi. Oh, she she poofs it. Lulu think, wants to be in the video too, I guess. I, th I think I think uh, I think Lulu likes it. She like popcorn. I don't think you can give cats popcorn. I don't think you can. Uh, what are you doing? Hi. Oh, hello. You like me for some reason. You like me for some reason. Yes, thank you. Okay, you are shedding. Go back down, please. I guess I'll board it because. I don't really, I think it's cute, but it's not a print that I personally would wear. Yeah, it's kind of the same here. I'll, I'll, I'll board it. Oh well. Cue the thousand screams of horror that there was a pet on our dress. Oh. <gasps> what is this? Oh, what is this? That is a good question. Let us see. Oh, what's the name of it? Oh, uh, it's from the brand R series and the dress is called Bluebird. And it looks like it's going to be up for pre-order here pretty soon. Uh, oh, that's gosh. so elegant. This is gorgeous. Uh, see, I really, I really hate how in my head I can just think of all these things to say about these beautiful dresses and all my mouth can come out with is, it's so pretty. pretty. Yeah. It's so pretty. <laughs> oh, I love the print. I don't, um... Ooh, even the it black comes, one looks really nice. It, wow, it comes in so many colorways. Yeah, it comes in black and white and blue. Oh, oh the white one's cute. That one is really cute. I think I like just the straight up white. It like, I think it really helps the print like pop out since it's, it looks like there's a uh, blackbirds on a white background. But see, they're showing her with no blouse. Oh so my like, goodness. What blouse do I wear with this? Maybe like a boss the same color as the birds, but that would be hard to that would be a hard color to match, I think. Yeah, it definitely would. Um, and I mean the style of the blouse would probably be pretty easy. I mean, I personally would go for more of a princess sleeve. Yeah, definitely. To kind of match like the elegance and everything else, but um, the the cut is pretty interesting. I really love the uh the what would you call that the chiffon mm -hmm. on the sleeves i think that's kind of a nice touch it's very nice it looks very airy good for summer good good and ethereal <laughs> um well, i mean i really like this the the white and the purple the white and the purple yeah you would cord that one i think i would cord that one well I don't think I would personally court it just because I always go for more on the sweet side. And oh, yeah, that's fair. I mean, I've courted worse. <laughs> or I've courted <laughs> better too. <laughs> um, but with this, with the veil and like the, I don't know what you call that, but that with her arm in the first picture. Uh, I think that's, that's technically a blouse too. It's just a blouse that kind of comes down to your elbows, but yeah. That's... Oh, that's so gorgeous, my heart. <laughs> yes. 
I would court it. Yeah, I'll board it. All right, so this one is called Acquisitive Crown, and it's by In the Name of Satan. Interesting name. Um, you're definitely not gonna, well, actually, yeah, you are gonna get a lot of crosses in this, I was about to say. Uh, no angels here. <laughs> no angels here. <laughs> This is my first time actually seeing like the long gloves corded, you know, like on a model. Mm -hmm. I, I think it fits really well, but mm. oh no, Jasmine, she's not wearing a blouse. She's not. It's wearing like, a it's, blouse. It's like your big pet peeve. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I think the print is really good. It's uh, it's uh, it's definitely in the name of Satan. It's definitely. Very pretty. Um, I do gothic. like the yeah, and I like the 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 purple, mm. like the various shades of purple. It, you know uh, which Disney villain it kind of gives me vibes of. The what? Disney oh, or Disney, Disney villain? villain. Yes. Uh, oh my god. Um, um, Maleficent. Uh, Maleficent. Yes. Yes. Maleficent. Now I just need some like bright green, like that one Maleficent dress from Baby. Oh lord. Or Alice in the Pirates, one of them. Oh, there's a white version. Oh. I, this is going to sound really Al weird, but I actually prefer the black one. Oh, okay. Well, and I could see why, like, again, it's kind of like one of those contrast things mm -hmm. where the print just seems a lot better on the black one because it just shows so much more yeah it looks like positively magical but the white one is also very it's i i kind of like the white one too it kind of kind of gives off a very different vibe i'll be your angle or devil <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna kick me off the show for that one. Oh, i even like it that is okay that, I know I that's a baton, stand. but this one would also look cool with a sword. <laughs> <laughs> Again, with the swords. I mean, I could see it, but I really like the staff. It definitely yeah. kind of brings the whole outfit together. And the crown, the crown is a really nice touch, too. I know. Okay. I just, but the crown is like, is that yellow or gold? That's um, gold, right? It's, yeah, it's gold. I just wish there were actually gold in the dress. Yeah, I feel I mean, like... maybe just a little, little bit. Yeah, I like, the, I like the dress as it is, but to tie it in with the crown. Mm -hmm. It definitely would help everything kind of come together. Unless there maybe is gold and we just can't see it from the previews, but I, I don't think so. Oh, it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Personally, I, I would actually coordinate the white one because I love just, I just love the white so much. Oh, just, I don't know what it is about it. But I would cord the white one. <laughs> I think, I know I said my days of wearing all black were over, but sometimes you just gotta, sometimes you just gotta make an exception. So I would actually cord this. It's very I would. pretty. Yeah. I could see you wearing <laughs> it. Oh my gosh, have you seen my old pictures of me when I was gone? No, I've never. Oof. Oof. I mean, I'll show you later. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna learn some dark things apparently. Oh, uh, actually, there was a dress I got from Hot Topic. Oh no, you didn't use it as a Lolita dress, did you? No. Okay. It's like a cardinal sin like, right there. People, people who didn't know what Lolita was, they called me Gothic Lolita, and I, I didn't. I was just like, uh, this is just a dress I got from Hot Topic. <laughs> I was like 17, and oh, gosh. the dress is in my car. Wait, is <laughs> it your was, car right yes, now? it is. Oh. And I was thinking about making a video called, like, I was a teenage Ida. <gasps> <laughs> Yes, I would love to see something like that. <gasps> is this a birthday party? Oh, oh, it is so cute. Oh no, it is adorable. It's it's a uh, it's by Mara del Tempio, and it's called Candy Rabbit. Oh my gosh, that just kind of like this is so. F um, so there were technical difficulties, mm. a lot of technical difficulties. So sorry about the break in that. Back to our regular, regularly scheduled programming. So we were looking at this uh, Candy Rabbit JSK, and it's I'm like, oh god. <laughs> um, and I, I think this print is just so much fun. You know what I've noticed? I feel like a lot of brands will release dresses that look like they're almost made for 
Oops. Uh, oops. Almost made four. <laughs> oh man, that's okay. So what I've noticed with a lot of uh, like Taobao and you know main brands in general is they'll make a lot of prints like for us. It looks like for a specific holiday, either like right before or like right after and i feel like this is such a fun it almost reminds me of it reminds me very much of easter actually just really all the well yeah because it's got like bunnies and plastic eggs and oh almost looks okay. like jelly beans i was looking at the balloons and i was thinking birthday party cord but now that you mentioned like the easter theme like the eggs that i i now see that our eggs are not balloons <laughs> i mean you know what to be honest they could also be balloons it's so hard to see just because the print is well here we go well no now that you mention it though like yeah there's a little bit more up closer it kind of looks like maybe jelly beans and balloons or easter eggs maybe they're all three maybe oh here we go oh here's a better okay so this is definitely an easter print not a birthday print really but there but, but, it, but it looks that it looks like there are balloons up here so you know why it's just festive just easter happy, happy easter, easter birthday, birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that was way too perfect yes um oh gosh i mean i i this with pink one is so <laughs> cute <laughs> Without a doubt, I would coordinate like all the colors though. Like I will take the pink, I will take the white. The the cut is really cute. Mm -hmm. I would definitely need a binder for it because it's just so high up. But, but I, I'm a member oh. of the itty bitty titty committee. So I, it's just like, there's nothing there. <laughs> I've got to remind me that I have the big bazonkas. No, I'm sorry. That's not what I No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Um, but yeah, I think it's cute. I would definitely cord, cord. it. Yeah. Definitely cord it. <laughs> this, this looks pretty old school. Um, or old school with like, it's more ornate. I don't know. I feel like that's, I feel like it's very sweet with like a classic twist because You've got a lot of like sweet bows, but you have a very like classic cut. So yeah, I'm confused about this. Oh, it's called Flora Heart by Shining Girl in the Crowd. I mean, it's it's really cute. I let's take a look. I mean, I do like the I do like the 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 detail and the cut a lot. I mean, even though I'm a, I'm a classic girl, I'm not classic, I'm a sweet girl, but I do like the A-line cuts. And this pink one is stealing my heart. <laughs> I, I like the white one very much, but I just, the pink one is too much, especially with this little capelet. Oh, uh, I need. It's very, very cute. I think out of all the colors, oh, I didn't even see the sax one the yet. Sax, yeah, the sax one is adorable. I like that. It's so cute. Um, and I definitely feel like the black one does give off some fairly old school vibes, especially if you okay. gave it a maxi pad hat dress. Um. <laughs> oh, and your beret's gone. Oh. <laughs> Knocked the uh, beret off you with that one. Yes, yes you did. By the way, this beret is from Sweet Mildred, and I got it at Colossal Con. She shipped it to me, and it came in, and I'm so happy about it. It's very cute. I would definitely support Sweet Mildred. She has a lot of really great quality Lolita items and they are fairly affordable in my opinion. I'm actually wearing her petticoat right now on top of a bunny house petticoat. The extra large petticoat. <laughs> <laughs> so I got lots poof, of poof, poof. For days. The hover lolly that I've always dreamed I was going to be one day. <laughs> anyway, sorry. What? Well, I mean, I guess if you want to see. Oh, yeah, it looks really good with the capelet from the back. Yeah, mm. um, kind of looks like. It, it, I mean, and this isn't a bad thing. It kind of reminds me of like a grandma shawl almost, but it's it's really cute. I like. This. I really like it with this blouse and just with the with everything. I love I love everything. I love all the details. You can definitely tell she's gonna cord that one. Yep, 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 yep. Cord. I would with the cord, gloves. I would cord the pink one at least. <laughs> I would cord the pink one. I would cord the sax one. I would court the white one, but if I had to choose, definitely the pink one. All right, so this one is Summer Canel or mm -hmm. Summer Canele by 
Hinana Quina. These names are very interesting. They are. I have such a soft, a soft place in my heart for uh, gingham or plaid or any kind of like different pattern. I think it is definitely, it would go good, really good for country, very good yes. for sweet. Like if you're going to a picnic, I feel like this would yes, be- Yes, so this is, this is, a, I'm sorry, I need to cut you off. No, you're fine, you're fine. I was like, this is good, this would be perfect for a picnic. I see gingham and my mind goes, picnic. So. It, it yeah. definitely works. Oh, it's, it, it also kind of gives me uh, Judy Garland vibes of like the Wizard of Oz. Yes, especially, especially the, the sax one. one. <laughs> you just need a little Toto and you are Aww. completely set. Lulu, where are you? Lulu. <laughs> you're, close enough, you're close enough to a Toto. <laughs> oh, look at this yellow one. I like, oh. I like. <gasps> you lost it. What did I do? You lost it. <gasps> I think I'm going to have to take the phone from you now. Hello again. More technical difficulties came abound. <laughs> Technology just doesn't, want to, just doesn't want to work with us no, today. Nothing works today. I, I um. swear. But no, I agree. I, I think the yellow plaid is really cute. It's kind of like kitschy, like kitcheny almost. <laughs> it sounds, that sounds so weird, but kitcheny. It's just so cute. Like give it a little... Uh, like another apron, and it's like you could bake in something with that. It's so cute. So could cute. you bake in Lolita? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't. Oh no. Huh. I saw that post and I was like, Ooh, I wouldn't actually do that. Oof, my brand. My brando. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I like it. I think, I'm not sure if I like it better with the bottom part of the apron or without the bottom part of the apron. I I like I like it both ways actually, and I, even though I think both styles are cute, I'm a little apprehensive about wearing like w wearing it with the April st apron style because I don't want to look too much like a, I'm a kawaii maid. Or, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> but unfortunately I mean, with these kinds of dresses, people are like, "Are you a sexy maid?" And that's like, oh, but she is. She she's not. <laughs> I, I gotta tease you. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's, I can see someone coordinating this really, really well so that it doesn't look like, you know, the kawaii maid. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think I would cord this. I think last time I, I said, it's gingham. I don't cord gingham. gingham. But this one, I think I would cord you'll, it. You'll, 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 uh, you'll give it a pass for this now. I, I think it's just the cut. The cut is just... The cut is just so it, gorgeous. I it like it. It helps, yeah. it helps with the cut. It's very cute. Okay. Also, because of those technical difficulties, she's not allowed to touch my phone anymore. <laughs> Look at this. Look at these red pandas. What is this one called? Um, It's called... M mushroom and red panda by mystery kingdom it's very 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 cute oh i love it this reminds me of my my fox one my gray the four seasons and it has foxes around the end that foxes of all seasons oh. except these are red pandas oh my oh. gosh look at they're just they're just Wearing this OP is oh. cute. Look, the little I've... red panda ears, too. Uh oh, Ida alert. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, oh, it's just so cute. And look at they're just they're wearing like little outfits, they're so cute. Hair in my eye, but yeah, ah, oh, I like. And the cut is gorgeous, like the colors are gorgeous. This is just oh, it even really oh, on the brown, the brown one. version that is so cute. See, at first I thought they were corgis, just like at a at a glance, but uh, no, they're they're red pandas. <laughs> you know what? This is kind of like a very like if a, a Gretzko. I was just <laughs> Gretzko was the first thing that came to mind. And it's funny, I was thinking about a Gretzko earlier today, cause like when I'm driving, like this doesn't look like the face of someone who listens to Disturbed, but I listen to Disturbed. 10,000 fists when I go to work, when I go on errands. And I'm like, I am a Gretzko. A Gretzko is me. I'm the same person. If I could scream like her, I do karaoke every day too. I mean, we could test that out. I mean, we could. I was about to say, I'm not in this video though. Uh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> uh, karaoke me, anybody? 
but no, it, like in all honesty. Um, Look at those tights, though. Are those are those matching tights or? Um, actually, I don't. I mean, they do match very well, but I don't think they come with a set. I think it's. I That's think, fair. Yeah. yeah, they're like little strawberries. And... I am going to cord the. I, I really really like the tan one, but or is that tan or gray it's, pink? It's like a. Maybe like a beige or a light pink color. Like, this one looks, the OP looks light pink, but this first one looks tan -ish. Like Like a tan peach, a peachy tan. Well, I would cord either of those. And I don't know, I don't have a chocolate dress in my wardrobe. So I could probably cord that one too. That would be fun. Yeah. I've, oh, it's just so cute. But the, per I don't think I would coordinate it only because I, as, I, I'm very conflicted because it's just so cute, but the color colors are just not for me. Just, just small little personal stuff, I guess. But eh, it's really cute. Yeah, um, you gotta board it. Of course. So this next, this next or last one is uh, Nuan Nuan Star, and it's called Little Shell. It's definitely very beachy. I, you know. Like almost carnivaly. It's yeah, beach carnival. It's like a beach carnival. I like the way they style their hair. It's very like Harajuku like, and I like the colors. I like the the galaxy colors that they use. That's what made me. That's what caught my eye at first, especially the the blue one. Yeah, and like I've never really seen ever. I don't think like any kind of beachy like because it has like star motifs it's got shell motifs i've never seen a black like a black colorway for that and it's very i i like it because of the contrast the contrast is very nice between that and the uh, print um the blue one is very cute though yeah with the, the blue wig and aw if you've seen if anybody's seen like my past coordinates like i really just love the idea of summer chiffon um jewel marine because I own two of the colorways to that print, and I just I'm just so in love. It's like ah, uh, I love I love beachy coordinates so much. They're so pretty. Um, what do you think of the uh, the cut? I'm not super wild about it, but it's not horrible either. It, it almost it almost just barely has like a sailor cut mm -hmm. where it's like on the shoulders and it kind of. Don't really know how to explain that, but it's really, it reminds me of one of the cuts. Dang it, now I can't remember. We're gonna have to cut that out probably. But the cut, the cut is almost like a sailor style. And it has like the bow that rests like right here, like yeah. right below, right below the chest line. I, I think it's really cute how it kind of flows with everything. Also, I've never seen black and pink is. A very pretty combo and I kind of like it on this dress I'm not gonna lie <laughs> um, I I like the sax one yeah the sax is really cute but this cut I don't know if I can I don't know if I the more I look at it especially with this this blue OP that we're looking at right now mm. I don't know I I it's almost like a it looks it almost looks like the potato sack yeah it's like it's like one step under a potato sack. Mm -hmm. It's really cute though. Um, I mean, personally, I think I would coordinate it, especially the black one, which is, I, I don't own a, too much black. Like this is like, this coordinate's probably the most black I've ever had other than my princess cat one, but I I would, I, I would cord that. Um, it's very cute, it's very fun. It's something you just don't see a lot. I like that I they corded it coordinated it here with the pink blouse. Yes, I think that kind of helps everything stand out a little bit more so it's not just black on black on black and a little bit of pink. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I do my unicorn dress that I wore in the last episode. The cut is kind of similar to this. And I mean, I make it work. So, yeah. Especially like ooh, this blue one with the pink blouse. You know what? I'll cord it. Yeah. I'll cord it. Also, I love how it has full shirring in the back, so it, it'll definitely fit me. If it has full shirring, it's my best friend. 
<laughs> All right. All right. So I guess that's it for today. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. We yeah. actually stopped that a, a reasonable, a reasonable number of dresses. Yeah, we 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 wanted to. The first episode we did it, it was kind of like, let's do like three hundred, <laughs> and it's like let's try and contain that into. 10, 15 minutes and yeah. <laughs> it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> um, I would like to say congratulations to Jasmine because she has surpassed 300 followers. Um, I am really happy that I got to uh, be a part of that journey. Um, she works super hard on her videos and it's just like, I, I just want to get on my soapbox here for a moment and be like, she's, she just, she just deserves it. She deserves all of your support. So thank you for subscribing to her and her content. I'm really sorry. I just had to say that. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Don't cry. Thank you so no. much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> what are friends for? Hi, Lulu. Oh, Lulu she's wants going to be a part of me. it too. So this is, <laughs> This has been fun. It has been. Yeah. And I guess we will end this here. Likes and subscribes help me out very much. And we will see you in the next episode of Cord or Board. Bye. Bye.